It's a beautiful day on this side, and I want to welcome you to the Daily Headline on the Insider Podcast. I am Kayote Sonny, and with me, I have Sunday Punch, Sunday Vanguard, The Nation, and Business Day. Starting off from the front page of Sunday Punch, the big story here from page 3, Blackout hit states as power generation drops to 70 megawatts. We're seeing crash from 3,976.24 megawatts at 10 a.m. to 1,075.08 megawatts at 3 p.m., 70,000.60 megawatts at 4 p.m. We can't provide services to customers. This calls say NECA calls for national grid upgrade. And on page 3, we have this one. 18 states fail to recruit teachers in five years. On page 6, at 82, I still flee from sexual temptations, is at Deboye. On the spice pages, on pages 17, 20, and 29, education key to empowering people. Oh, Lori, a V at the third speaking right there. And also on page 88 and 9, National Assembly members earning jumbo pay in Nigeria, investing earnings abroad, Alani Bankole says. On pages 24 and 25, New electricity tariffs ground essential services in tertiary private hospitals. On page 30, most artists on drugs need to be rescued. And that's coming from Kanayo O Kanayo. On pages 42 and 43, 10 hour rainfall. Lekki Ekoyi residents flee luxury homes as flood ravages homes street. On page 36, how a found wife married within four months, visually impaired man. On page 6, rep marries of 105 girls orphaned by banditry. On page 6, ASU tackles federal government for excluding education from 2 trillion naira emergency funding. And now to the nation, the big story here on, on page 2. Samoa agreement, no clause on LGBT, $150 billion for Nigeria. And that's coming from Bagudu with riders. Federal government releases details, insists pact won't hurt Nigeria. Disregard fake news about agreement. Government tells clerics, ex-British diplomat, reports linking deal to LGBT rights irresponsible. And on page 5, Tinubu to Army. Don't allow violent groups overrun Nigeria. On page 5, blackout as national grid collapses again. Power sector critical for economic growth, says Sonwolu. And also on page 37, marketers, why feel scarcity is back in Abuja, others. On page 2, First Lady unveils vegetable garden at State House. Also, the last one here on page 2, many injured as herdsmen attack Amotekun in Ondo. And looking at the front page of Sunday Vanguard for today, on page 13, the big story, huge job losses as 16 multinationals exit Nigeria in three years. On page 7, row over alleged lesbian gay deal escalates. Federal government fights back, says no $150 billion loan LGBTQ in EU pact. Imams using claims to attack government. And also on page 24, Bishop Kuka, 25 years after Nigeria's democracy in recession. And also uh, there's this one on page 16, I want to give people sense of nostalgia. See me says of latest album. And looking into other stories, right here on page 6, anti-grazing law in Ondo, arrest of 120 cows sparks bloody clash between Amoteko and Hertzman. On page 33, Davido and Sofia, Daily Momodu opens up. And also the last one here on page 7, Lagos list areas that may be affected resident evacuated in fresh flood allowed after 10 hour downpour and moving on to business day now the big story right here on page 42 nigerian housewives turned mathematicians in kitchen as food crisis hits household with riders say we now constantly plot on how to deploy scarce resources our families no longer eat what our body needs but what we can afford and also other stories We've seen this one, uh, Lessons from Africa's Best Governed Nations. On, and that's on page 36. On page 38, NIMC needs to admit that data leak happened and make sure it does not happen again. Benga uh, On page 41, Onitsha River Port is functional, but capital dredging is the issue, says Unwagu. On page 56, Alexander Arnold fires England to Euro 2024 semi finals. And this one right here, 
uh, minimum wage debate reignites discourse on fiscal federalism. And another one, Nigerian uh, undergraduates investing in profitable ventures despite harsh economy. And that's on page 45. And just this last one right here on page 44. Return of suicide bombing in Bornu calls for improved intelligence, military's commitment. And those are all the headlines from the newspapers today. Thank you for tuning in today and I'll see you next time.